Start, you can't be friends with inanimate objects. My friends are of my own choosing, and I am the fiercely loyal to my friends, whether they be a person or the maker of the waffles. Okay, being friends with things is weird, and you should stop doing it. No! Come on, we're way more fun than a waffle maker. This calls for a group activity. Let's go beat up the hive. Yeah! <laughs> All right! I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> oh, Scoop. The others have told me I should not be friends with the things, but I am truly smitten by your charms. Uh, forget about them. They are the goons. Come on, let's go have the fun. Yes, let us go have the most wonderful of the times together. <laughs> The BFF? We will always be the best of friends. I love you, the Starfire. And I love you, the Scoop. <sighs> Good night. Selling cookies teaches the Rangers valuable skills so they can be successful in business when they grow up. Ooh, I have always dreamed of becoming the successful business alien princess. <laughs> May I be the Ranger and sell of the cookies as well? Sure, I don't care. Joy! When next we meet, I will be the ranger! Get back here! Stop! Bingo. With my girls pulling up in these fancy cars, getting treated all night like superstars. We love these flashing lights, star studded crazy nights. Diving into the seas full of cash, living this high life ain't so bad. The judges are going to have a hard time kicking a winner after that performance. I am the business alien princess. I can do the this. Buy the cookies! Uh, buy them! Uh, hmm. Perhaps this subtle approach is in order. Psst! Excuse me. The ma'am. The ma'am. The ma'am. <laughs> Hopeless. How did it go, Star? I failed to sell the single box. I fear I shall never become the successful business alien princess. If you want to be a business alien's princess, then you got to work on them business alien skills, yo. What are these skills of which you speak? They're written right here on the box. Decision making, people skills, and business ethics. Do you truly believe I could learn of these skills of the business? Of course, and we can all help teach you. Joy! Learning business. The first skill you need to learn is decision making. Quick, make a decision about anything. I... Too late, you already failed the lesson. <sighs> you need to act on your decisions quickly and firmly. Puppies or kittens, which you say? I, uh, the, the kitties, they are so adorable. But, but 
kids or the puppies? Oh, I cannot decide. Time's up. I assure you we are on solid legal ground. Take a look at this. Souvenir coin machines are built for the sole purpose of defacing pennies, and they're perfectly legal. Sounds like a bulletproof legal defense to me. But what will happen to the poor souls who in times of need call upon the magic of Genie President Lincoln by casting the pennies into the wells of the wishing? The wishing wells? I didn't even think of those. Oh, the relief that you are the understanding. All those fools throwing their pennies into wells. Just waiting for us to grab them. Let's hit up them wishing wells first, yo! Titans, go! Is hard work, Titans, but we've collected every discarded penny in the world. Who wants to take a dip before we melt them down and extract their precious metals? We do! <laughs> <laughs> What a great way to enjoy these coins! <sighs> that rich duck was right. <sighs> Jump in, Stark! The water's hard! I am still having the second, third, and fourth thoughts about the plan. If we destroy all of the magical pennies, the world will be without wishes. Who needs wishes when we got them riches? Oh! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> ow, 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 ow. This is the travesty. I must go somewhere to do the head clearing. Yes! Now to lure Starfire over with a scheme so complex, her mind won't be able to resist. I've got two cakes! Two cakes! Two cakes. Oh, the truth is before me. The twin cakes as were foretold. Who wants the first two slices? Stop me! Hey! What's y'all doing up in here? I'm here for Mr. Baseball. I wanted the cakes. I had to go to the bathroom. Well, well, well. Looks like everyone came to my party after all. I guess I'm the real party animal. I've got one tall tale left to share, and I would appreciate it if you would let me tell it. With no interruptions. Oh, definitely. We shall be of the silence. This is the story of Johnny Appleseed. Oh. I shall tell the tale of the apple planting man. Long ago, there lived a pioneer man named the Johnny Appleseed, who lived very much in the out of doors. Hello, forest animal friends! <laughs> he spent much time with the animal friends and loved them all. But one day, Johnny noticed that some animals were making fun of the forest kitty for being the stinky. <laughs> Please! Do not laugh at the forest kitty! You are hurting of his self-esteem! <laughs> The animals did not listen, so Johnny made the plan. He walked across the lands and planted the apple trees as far as the eye could see. And just before the apples were ready to fall to the ground, the Johnny gathered them up and went off to find his animal friends. <laughs> friends of the forest, look! I have brought the apples for the all! Oh, but you see, these apples are not for the eating. They are for the teaching. We must get out of the here. Johnny marked his stinky friend with the stripe. <laughs>
to let the other animals know that he was under his protection. 